Hey y'all and welcome back, welcome back to another video. Now, okay, uh, y'all asked me to get involved in this shit, although y'all know my stance on it, so I'm going to speak my piece. But uh, before I do, y'all already know the drill, like, comment, and subscribe because it's free. Don't fall asleep watching ID. Fall asleep watching me. Okay, keep your internet bill paid so you can see to it that it is possible. Now, if y'all see me pause, stop, repeat something, go back, I'm not editing this motherfucking video. So it is what it is besides cutting the front and probably the bite. Okay, a uh, few updates. My patience is this thin. Right here with Patreon. Okay. I have the Patreon up. It is launched. But allow me to let you know now as nicely as possible. If you are not willing to be patient, because the entire reason why you guys have not gotten another um, podcast from me and Mike, um, the reaction video took a little bit longer, was because it took me two and a half fucking days to upload everything to the computer to figure out how to create a fucking URL. Yes, I'm cussing because, bitch, I am angry. Patreon is not a Facebook, YouTube, Instagram upload kind of girl, okay? They either want you to have this kind of app to upload the video or you got to create a URL. I am used, I'm just now stepping into doing shit on a computer. I'm a phone bitch, okay? <laughs> I've been doing all this entertainment for the years that I have been doing this. Has been coming from the phones and that is from edits on up. I am not familiar with doing all of this on a computer. This is foreign to me. This is new to me, okay? Um, for those of you inquiring about the Patreon, if you choose to go, I am asking you now for your patience. If you are not a patient person, if you are not willing to be patient, by all means, stay right here and chill until I say, hey, it's a go. We got three, four videos uploaded. It's a go. A, because I am letting you know like I have been for the last three videos that I've been big in Patreon, which is why I spent 48 hours on that fucking computer straight, okay? 48 hours trying to figure out how to do this application. I don't know what I'm doing with it. One man band, okay? Um, so if you do not have patience, if you are the type of person that makes a purchase and wants it right after you pay for it, stay right here. Stay right here because you don't know what's going on on the other side of that goddamn computer. And when you pay your money, you don't care. Most people say, oh, it's only $5 until it's your motherfucking $5. Okay? So I am attempting to be as transparent about that as possible. It has been a tedious, vigorous fucking process that I hate that I even in decided to involve myself in. But I will not be defeated by it. So if you would like to go ahead and go over there. That's perfectly fine. I have videos geared up and ready. Right now, I am waiting on them to approve me for whatever fucking reason. But I guess because it's a paywall, they have to approve you first to make sure the content that you're going to be putting on there is okay. So, once they approve me, cool. But other than that, if you are not willing to wait for me to upload content, if you are not willing for me to, to kind of be off schedule for a little while, <laughs> okay, stay right here. Stay right here. Because when I say this process, look, look, look at my roof. This process has been a bunch. But I refuse to be defeated. So again, for everybody reaching out about it, thank you so much. I have been getting shit from the housewarming list. I've been fucking waiting to do that. To, to do it on Patreon. Okay? For everybody that has been sending gifts and I had been opening them. I, I didn't take them out. I would open them and look. So... For the unboxing, I'm sorry, not unboxing, but for the housewarming, a lot of boxes are going to be open because stuff was coming to my P.O. box. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't know if this is from a company or what. So I would pop it open and I'm just like, a gift for you. So for all of y'all that have been looking at that registry, sending shit, I love y'all so much and I thank y'all so much. I'm not just getting your shit. It is literally still in the box in the back. We have not, the other than me opening, like, here's a gift for you. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. It's a million other things you could have been thinking of, a million other people, and you thought of me. You thought of us. Y'all know how I get, so I'm not going to get that way. But, <laughs> 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Again, if you want to send anything for the ho virtual housewarming, we do have a registry of shit that we was just going to get from Amazon. And somebody showed me how to do that. <laughs> so, I mean, if you if you decide, cool. If you don't, fuck it. I, we live here. We're going to have to do it anyway. <laughs> but thank y'all so, so, so much. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all patience. I thank y'all for the comments that I ain't been able to get to. I've been looking down there. I've been seeing a bunch of y'all just talking back. Welcome to the love family. I thank y'all. I thank y'all so much. I have... I ha it, it's funny to have a team the way that I do in y'all. <laughs> no payroll, no nothing. But if I'm not around, it's like certain people know, Miranda especially. If I'm not around and they don't see me come in for a little while, they'll start doing it. Oh, okay, she must be busy. Or they'll reach out like, hey, you all right? Oh, okay, then I'll look and they'll start commenting. I, fuck with, I fucking love y'all. I fuck with y'all the long way. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. God gonna move. But, um, the whole thing that y'all came here for. Okay. So, before I get started, you all know, I idolize Monique. Okay, so I don't want y'all to think, oh, she just gonna come with a biased opinion. Not the case. I'm missing a necklace. Okay, that's the problem. I'm like, why do I feel funny? Okay. Um, for those of y'all that asked about the necklace as well, um, my neck was a little bit bigger <laughs> than I anticipated. So I added a link that I had from like a bullshit chain from Rainbow or some shit. Um, that piece has tarnished its ass off. So I'm looking for another piece. I may just actually take, because I got a rope bracelet in here. Now the bracelet is real, but it's broke. But I think I'm going to have that bracelet uh, turned into a double hook. So I can just hook it on there because my skin eats up fake jewelry. And the nameplate and the necklace still standing strong. So shout out to you, Sophia. And that was not a promotion. I'm just saying. Shout out to y'all for making some, some jewelry that I can wear every motherfucking day that I don't eat the fuck up. Sorry. <laughs> Again, I'm not editing shit. Um, but y'all know I idolize Monique. Y'all know how much I love and care about that woman. That woman gave me one of my first big opportunities. Okay. At the same time, we can agree to disagree, not on the situation of the bonnet. <laughs> so you are going to hear me disagree with some things that she said in the in the video. But the message at hand, I don't disagree with at all. Okay, period. Y'all know where I stand. I have made it into a joking situation, but it's dead ass fucking serious. I'm on camera right now. I'm at home. Now, I do wear scarves out in public. I wear hair wraps and things like that. Monique disagrees with the scarves. I understand that, but at the same time, hair wraps is cute as fuck to me, okay? I don't agree with bandanas, okay? The bandana tie back. I don't agree with scarves that are covered in grease, pro-style gel, semen, a little bit of got-to-be glued, stuck with the spritz. I don't I don't agree with shit like that. Have you on a clean head scarf if you're going to do it. And do something with it. You know what I'm saying? Do the little tie. Do the little doobie in the back. Do the, do the doobie up here. There are plenty of ways that you can walk out and look presentable. Now, one thing, and, and, and another thing that I've seen on, on uh, Beyonce and the Lord's Internet, a lot of people judging about the fact that she brought the message in her robe. When people are comedians, they're real strategic about what they do. The first thing y'all looked at was something else to be upset about. Other than listening to what the fuck she was saying. I was, she got her titties out in her robe. First of all, that robe was crisscross shut. You couldn't see a motherfucking thing other than it was a robe. But what you could definitely see behind her were house walls. She wasn't outside. She wasn't flexing in the backyard. She wasn't in the front yard. She was in a respectable area of her, of her home. Told y'all, y'all gonna see that. <laughs> she was in a respectable area of her fucking home. So what? Absorb what the fuck somebody is saying to you. And I, I just, I hate my generation, A, because we are so easily fucking influenced. I hate the younger generation because... They know every motherfucking thing and everything hurts. Everything's an offense. And I'm sick of overall this new shit where there is a diagnosis for every fucking thing. There's a diagnosis for everything. It is 
aggravating as fuck to me. Oh, it's massage noir. It's it's um it's um what what is the shit called? Um anti-blackness. It's policing. It's this. And then when you say something else, oh well, can we not use the word ghetto when describing black people? The act is ghetto. We can't give a fuck about no other fucking race before everybody scream. Well, we don't hear when white women do it. Baby, let me tell you now. You think I don't talk about white people when they come outside in motherfucking bonnets and anything? I don't, even when they come outside in a hundred degree heat with hoodies on. Or when they come outside and it's snowing and they got on shorts. I'm talking the same shit about them that I am about you coming outside in that fucking bonnet. What I did not agree with. <laughs> Uh, flip-flops. I wear flip-flops, A, because my motherfucking ankles and shit swell up. So that's going to happen. If these toes is out, they done. I do not agree with wearing flip-flops and you can't reach your motherfucking ankles and put no, put no oil on them bitches. If your ankles got the white cracks in the middle and they got a little dirt in the middle, you don't wear no motherfucking slides without socks. The slide shouldn't be dirty. When y'all go buy white slides, I don't know what the fuck for. But when y'all go buy white slides and your feet print all in them. Or the top where you got the clear slides, I don't know what for. They done turned yellow. Throw them motherfuckers away. Or wear them around the house. It's an observation. Everything is not judgment. I really wish that y'all would. Everybody know all these big words, right? You don't know the difference between observation and judgment. What I'm observing, because normally as black women, we are so fucking prideful. When we look bad outside, one would usually take it as something is wrong. Okay? That is another thing that I don't agree with, with Monique. I'm not tapping nobody, baby. Look how foolish as you want to look. I'm going to laugh at you. And if you ask me what's funny, because now you're approaching me asking me for my opinion. Baby, you see something funny? Absolutely, you outside looking like a fucking cook. Are you okay? Because Monique Way ain't gonna work for y'all. I'm not gonna approach nobody and put my motherfucking hand on and say, hey, baby, you doing all right today because you look a mess. No, I'm not doing that. If you chose to walk across your threshold, you chose to take on whatever the fuck the day brings. Period. A lot of people, and I don't understand, I guess it's because a lot of us may or may not have had a grandmother may not have had a grandmother of age or of a certain caliber. My granny didn't play that shit. When you get up and she wakes you, my granny gets up at five. She lets you sleep till 8.15, the latest. I don't give a fuck what day it is. If you got to go to school, when she get up at five, you up at six. If class start at seven, you up at 5.45, six o'clock. But when you get out of bed, the way she greets you, good morning, sweetheart. Here's your face towel, your toothbrushes in there. Wash your face, brush your teeth. I got your clothes laid out right here on this chair in the room. And you come meet us at the breakfast table. You don't step foot in my grandmama's motherfucking kitchen with no pajamas on. My grandmama didn't play that shit. Also, my grandfather stayed there. You gonna respect me, him, and this house. Don't nobody come with their ass hanging out but me. A, because that's my motherfucking husband. Everybody thinks, oh, well, this is how women are supposed to protect themselves. They got to cover up. No, you're going to respect my house. It's another pair of tits and ass walking around here. You're going to clothe it. Period. It ain't got shit to do with sexualizing nothing. You're going to put some clothes on in my house. Y'all got friends that you don't like around your motherfucking spouse. And got the nerve to tell somebody if they tell their grandchild to get dressed. Oh, well, they, they, you, you better watch that man. No, you're going to respect my house. When I get up, I'm dressed. Who the fuck are you? My grandmama didn't play that. You couldn't be slouchy. Your clothes, all of this shit. No. I wasn't even allowed to wear these because in the back, I can't never keep it pulled up. Well, now if all your back got to be out, nah, go put a shirt on over it. Then the, your police and women's bodies. Now, if you feel like the tap is what's police, and I can't tell you nothing about that. But a motherfucker wanting to tell you that you look a mess, 
That's not policing. Do y'all realize where black people came from? Do you not see the progression? We came from wearing hand-me-down clothes. Some of us still do. Hello. Hand-me-down clothes, scraps. We came from curtains turned into dresses. Anything we could possibly do to look better with what we had. That has been so far removed from the mind. Y'all are now bringing up the Bernstein Bears. A motherfucking cartoon where that goddamn bear was a white woman. Let's be honest. Bernstein Bears was not based off no black fucking family. They were bears. In the grocery store. Why is this a discussion? You can go buy a bonnet and the motherfucker say nightwear. It's nightwear. Period. And then other people, why is this still a discussion? Because the shit happening. Because it's happening. Y'all don't understand. And, and, and what I hate the most about the, the black race is no accountability. Somebody holds you accountable. The first thing you think of, well, don't nobody say nothing to whites. Don't nobody say nothing to Mexicans. And you know what? Don't nobody talk amongst their motherfucking race about their motherfucking race the way, the way the black race does. So you're right. You'll never know about too many white problems. Why? Because they don't bring that shit to your nigga ass. That shit stays in their community. You couldn't possibly understand what them people be talking about because they don't get what we talking about. But they know when they see you in the store looking like you stealing because that's just what the fuck it look like since y'all don't want to hear ghetto. Nine times out of ten, a motherfucker that come in the store wearing a bonnet got on some filthy fucking house shoes, some dirty sweatpants, a shirt that don't motherfucking fit, and if they don't have that on, they got a big ass purse, some big ass sunglasses, it's always a whole fucking stereotype into it, and you know what happens, like everybody said, oh well when you go to the airport, now I do, I, I, I didn't agree with not being able to carry a blanket, I'm anemic, I take a blanket when I'm traveling, but I understood what she meant. You literally got out of bed and everything you have on, you came to the airport and you have a blanket on. You didn't even plan your night out to say, and, and the attire does not have to be suited and booted. If you know you get cold, Walmart got sweatsuits for $10 in my size, bitch. Throw a sweatsuit on, put on some, slides, some socks and your slides because you got to take your shoes off anyway. Me personally at the airport, I can understand wearing your bonnet, but I can also understand putting on a baseball cap. And somebody else said, well, a lot of them girls be strippers. That's fine. That's fine. Wrap that shit. Get you a head scarf or a head wrap. Wrap that shit up. Or better yet, if you are going to wear your bonnet, throw a hood on. There are so many fucking ways. And, and, and again, there's certain parts I don't agree with. The airport, I don't really care. All I want to do is get to my destination at the airport. I don't see shit nobody have on nowhere at the airport. I'm minding my business to the 22nd power because that's where the fuck people get the most upset at the airport and post office. Okay? I'm talking about grocery stores going to pick them kids up from school. Nightclubs. You don't want to believe shit like that has happened, but it fucking has. Nightclubs, going to going to restaurants or out to eat, not even restaurant restaurants, but coming to pick your food up. And you know you're gonna have a weight when you come up. You got on the, the bonnet, the big furry ass house shoes, the mall, the bank. When the bank has a drive up, drive up and do your transaction when you know you don't look like nobody right now. And then again, like I said, because in the black community, especially amongst black women, we are not accountable for shit because here go the blame game. Well, they, well, they, well, don't nobody say nothing to a man when he wear his do-rag, bitch. 
Nine times out of ten, I don't know the type of niggas that you kick it with. But most of the ones that I've been around, if they got on a red velvet motherfucking bonnet, uh, not red, excuse me, burgundy velvet motherfucking bonnet, they got on a burgundy motherfucking Jordan shirt with a black Jordan emblem. Or sometimes it's burgundy with a gold Air Max emblem. They got on some 501 jeans that are creased down to the motherfucking ankles. And they got on burgundy black and white motherfucking Air Maxes and or Jordan. Jordans. If you see a man in an elastic baby blue motherfucking do-rag, nine times out of ten he has on a white shirt. He got on some stone wash shorts or a pair of light blue dickies. And he has on a pair of fresh ones with the white, uh, with the, uh, excuse me, with the powder blue around them and the white up top. Stop that bullshit. Nine times out of ten the men that do that shit ain't got shit. No way. But what are they doing? The same thing that black people had to do back in the day. They're doing the best with what they have. Do rag ain't bit more nasty nothing. Not only that. <clears throat> the whole purpose of wearing the do rag <clears throat> is to achieve waves. Achieve waves. Achieve waves. You wear bonnets to save and protect your hairstyle, bitch. That's not doing nothing. We have got to be accountable for something, ladies. I took my kids away because he was this way, this way, this way. Bitch, what way were you? I moved out because they was this way, this way, this way. What were you? Y'all don't ever see me with a bunch of bitches for shit like that. Bitches are not accountable creatures. They not. Just like you'll have a broke ass friend go out of town with your motherfucking ass knowing she ain't got no money. Hello. And instead of her being accountable, saying, you know what, baby, I ain't going to be able to make this when I know I ain't got it. What that bitch do? Come on that trip anyway. And expect all of y'all to understand why she broke. Or expect y'all to alter y'all trip because she broke. Women are the most unaccountable creatures in the world. The shit looks a mess. I don't give a fuck which way you attempt to skinny it. You look a mess. Now, me personally, I'm not going to touch you and tell you nothing. I'm going to laugh my motherfucking ass off and don't let this camera be on, baby. No, I ain't going to put you on the other social medias, but you will skim across my motherfucking vlog. Looking a mess. Because this is how you choose to go out in the world. You chose to do that. Versus taking another 20 motherfucking minutes. Putting you a pair of jeans on that you don't work so hard to pay for. Putting on a t-shirt that you worked so hard to pay for. Putting on some shoes that you worked so hard to pay for. And that hair that you done spent all that money on, bust that shit out. And if you don't want to, wrap it up. If you want to keep your bonnet on, throw a cap on. If you don't want to throw a cap on, they got beanies galore, bitch. There's too many ways. There's too many ways. To prevent this from being a conversation. At some point in life, people start wanting to be their kids' friends. And not their motherfucking mentors, teachers, guardians, and guides. And I'm so sorry for y'all. I'm so sorry for y'all. I'm so sorry for y'all. Because a lot of people that was mad at what that woman had to say got a troll for motherfucking kids that they raising. And that's the other excuse. I got kids. I don't have time. Wait, 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 wait. You had time to make multiple motherfucking kids, but you don't have time to throw yourself together. And most of the time, them neither. Come on now. Just like I said about that girl in that goddamn video, pussy popping on a pole, and I know it's going to be one mad bitch. Well, she is a mama, but what I'm saying is, with your free time, instead of you popping ass, Get the fuck down. Clean your apartment up. Your son runs in there often to make sure you okay from something you done fucking fell on. That baby knew to get up when he heard a loud noise. Why? Because instead of you being responsible and being an adult, you are on a fucking pole. I don't give a fuck what you do in front of your kids. Ain't shit wrong with pole dancing. Pole dancing is literally a thing. But bitch, you waist training and all this other shit. You got to work out all around you. Clean that fucking house up. With them kids there. 
And if he's big enough to know to respond or he's alert enough, uh, little baby, pick this up. Go put this in your toy box. Push that chair in for mama. That's right. Fluff out the pillow. Let me see you do it. Let mama see you do it. That's my big boy. I'm going to spray the Windex. You're going to wipe like this, right? You're going to wipe like, okay, when mama get all the stuff off here, you come take the grocery bags. Put them all in one bag. We're going to see who can do it the fastest. There's ways around everything, baby. I had custody of four children by myself at 18 years old. I don't want to hear it. Every rebuttal you got for that shit is shut the fuck down. Because, bitch, I A, went to work. Would take them kids to work with me when they got out of school. We had homework done. We had naps in. We had playtime. And mind you, I'm security at a place. I put them kids up in one of them fucking houses where I can see them. I put a goddamn walkie-talkie where I can hear them. They don't know it's in there, but I do. I do my patrols. I go check on them kids. I take an hour. When I go on my lunch break, we do homework. There is a way around everything. I am so sick of everybody, of it being okay for everybody to just not do shit. And it's all right. Because you got this going on. It's all right. Because you got that going on. When is it not okay? And now we are stuck in a time where you say something to somebody, a motherfucker is offended to either tears or wanting to fight. But some of you bitches are literally walking around on earth dead inside and need somebody to check on you. Want somebody to check on you. But because somebody may check on you and put you in the middle of your motherfucking mess and somebody may check on you and put that mirror right there in your shit. The easiest thing it is to do is to get upset. Oh, ain't nobody going to tell me. That's uh, that's what's wrong now. Black women's bodies have to be policed. No, y'all always crying about protect black women, right? Y'all want y'all want y'all bodies to be protected, right? But you cool with being the object of ridicule so don't nobody say shit to you. I don't get it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. If there's ever a time I'm not in the mood to take care of this, if I'm not in the mood to take care of my appearance, I'm at home all day. I'm not leaving. I'm not going anywhere because I'm not in the mood to dress this up. My hair is a mess. Product build up, bitch. My shit matted down to my face. If I wasn't doing a video on a topic such as, I would have came without it on. But I want you to understand how quick it is just to make yourself look at least outside presentable. Look at this. Now, if I need to go put some gas in my car, I'm ready to go put some gas in my car. You want to know something too? I was at an airport once. Never thought nothing about it until somebody else mentioned um, us collectively being stereotyped. I got the long nails. Okay, and I think this is one of the main reasons I've never been real big on wearing colored or long hair. Okay, colored or long hair. I'm standing in a crowd, and at the time I had, uh, where the fuck was I going? I think I was going, it was shit, it was either Arizona or Houston, the only two places I've been. But I think I was going on my annual trip that I go on to Houston. I was going to New Orleans, actually. No, Houston. I had in some burgundy hair. It was long burgundy hair. Of course, my nails out to here. I got lime green, orange, blue, all kind of colors on my nails. The ladies in front of me, everybody has on from bonnets to uh, full footy pajamas with the tails and shit on them. And all kind of waist trainers over the... Over the <laughs> Waist trainers over the goddamn uh, full body pajamas with the tails on them. So you didn't think to just put that on under because you're going to sweat. And you you rather sweat on your pajamas. Anyway, five ladies in front of me. So, of course, when the lady comes up, y'all ready? Um, All six of y'all together, right? No. Mind you, I wouldn't have took offense to it. There were four other black ladies behind me. But you want to know the difference? They had black hair, short haircuts, 
One of them had on heels. Another one had on baby doll shoes. One had on a three-piece suit. Another one had on a bodycon dress. Another one had on an A-line dress. So you can tell they going to take care of some business. I know they not with y'all. That has happened to me before. Because I am standing too close to what looks like I should be kicking it with just because of the hint of ghetto that I have. <laughs> Just because the hint of hood that I have, that I'm going to wear these long ass nails. And at one point that I was going to wear my colorful hair. That was it for the colored hair. Because my nails ain't going to bitch ass place. That's me. But it is our business to a certain extent. If you're willing to walk outside looking like that, I will never put my hands on you and tell you you're wrong. I will never attempt to convince you not to do it. I never would. Flip-flops, I have no problem with. Blankets, I have no problem with. I have no problem with your attire at the airport. I get it. I get it. If you're anything like me, if I if my flight leave at 9, I'm leaving the house at 8 o'clock. I always risk not getting my luggage. Okay? That's me. So I get it. But see, what I do, because I know I'm not leaving the house at 8 o'clock, the night before when I take my shower and I get into bed, I am fully dressed. And it's normally leggings, socks, t-shirt. I'm going to put them flip-flops on. And if I got a scarf, my hair is already wrapped and ready. Or I got a beanie or a cap sitting right there. Or a wig. That's just how I operate. That's how I roll. I was not allowed to do the things. Some of y'all may have been. And that's why y'all don't understand the message behind what, what Monique was saying. And that's why y'all attempted to pick that woman apart. So, doesn't change the fact. Oh, well, I know she ain't uh, talking to us about wearing bonnets. And she coming with drawstring ponytails and braids. But baby, could you say that her hair wasn't done? She's coming to you with drawstrings and braids. You can see her hair. You can see a style, and you can see it's completed. Who the fuck cares that she don't have a mountain lion's worth of motherfucking mame on her shit? We all don't like 30-inch motherfucking hair. We all don't like closures. We all don't like uh, lace fronts. We all don't like that shit all the time. That's too fucking much all the time. We all don't like that shit. And that's fine. If you like to put on them pounds of bundles, that's your business. That's your business. But as far and even being out in public in your bonnets, that's your business too. The shit is tacky as all get out. I don't give a fuck what ethnicity. I don't give a fuck what race. I don't give a fuck what gender. It does not look good if you did not just get done cooking food for somebody. If you are not the lunch lady of the building, it don't look good. Be accountable for what's going on in your own backyard before you get to worrying about, oh, well, I, you don't see nobody calling white people. It's a lot of hood, red ass, pole dunk, white ghetto bitches running around here too. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Now, and it's funny because them would be the ones that I would rather walk up and chastise because, bitch, I want you to. I want you to get mad. I want every bit of smoke you're willing to give off. You understand me? But when I'm saying it to somebody, I look like the sad part is I would literally have to jaw jack a bitch and it would be out of love. It would literally be me telling you, hey, baby, if you is going through something, I done been there. Let me pull you out of that. Because I see what you don't up under that and I need you to let us see that. I don't like that. I don't, don't, don't. Don't do that. Oh, bitch, who is you trying to tell somebody? Who you talking to? See, now everything done went bad. <laughs> now everything done went bad. Oh, but a white lady, baby, you look ghetto and terrible. A disgusting fucking mess. You look absolutely, you look horrible. You do. Have a good day. Ew. Like, come on. Ladies. Black people in general, let's be more accountable. We beg and we, we, we riot and we protest and we do all kind of shit for self-respect from other races for them to respect us.
Consider us. See us. That should start at home. First. It starts here. And who's going to be able to lead if all everybody doing is following? If all everybody is doing is following, who going to lead? Who going to lead? Like I said again, I agree with the message wholeheartedly and entirely. Y'all know where I stand on that. I don't even know why y'all asked me to elaborate on that part. Do I agree with everything? No. Certain shit, I don't give a fuck. Because there's normally a reason why people do certain shit that they do. But being presentable, it's a thing that black people wasn't always able to do, darling. We, were, we didn't always have the privilege. We didn't always have the right. When did that become forgotten? We weren't always allowed to look our best. We weren't always allowed to look our best. Do you hear what the fuck I'm saying to you? We weren't always allowed to look our best. And now that you have the opportunity to do it, you'd rather be mad at somebody that think you wrong for not doing it? We, <laughs> we were not allowed. And because of the zeros behind the years, you think it was that long ago. We were not allowed. How some of y'all go up in Neiman and Marcus and Saks Fifth and y'all go up in Gucci and y'all go buy. We wasn't allowed to do that shit. Now you have the opportunity to look your best. Turn every motherfucking head, including the people that still believe you're not allowed to do that. Turn they motherfucking head. Break they neck, bitch. And you coming outside like that? My plus size women. Love your body. Love your body enough to dress it nicely. Love your body enough to make a motherfucker wonder. That's another thing. <laughs> y'all let these motherfucking celebrities give y'all the big head. Oh, I think that's a, a woman empowerment move. That's a strong woman when I see her in the grocery store in her bonnet. Bitch, has he ever stopped to say anything to you? And the one that wrote it, I believe, is single. It's a bunch of bonnet bitches on here. <laughs> like... Don't believe the hype. They'll believe you too strong to be with them, but you're strong enough for somebody else. You're strong enough to look at. Give that man something. Give that man some mystery. Give the world some mystery. I wanna, I, I just I wanna know what this woman looked like when she wake up in the morning. What happened to that? <laughs> I want to know what this woman look like when she wake up. God, do this woman shit. Do she do, like, there's no mystery to nothing no more. Oh, well, that's slut shaming. I'm grown. I can do that. You sure can, but goddamn, it's actually fun to make the dog chase the cat. I promise it is. It is fun. Where did self-respect go? I want the nigga to see how I look like, what I look like when I come alive in the nighttime. He can see how I wake up. <laughs> you keep on, you're going to get what you're paying for. You're going to get just what you're bargaining for. But, like I said, I'm up and down as far as the other stuff. But y'all know how I feel about the bonnets. I don't agree. I don't like it. Uh... <laughs> You have a place for everything. If you get some shoes and say house shoes, that's where they for. They for the house. When you buy a robe, it says house robe. That's what it's for. It's for the house. When you get something that says nightwear, 
That's what it's for. It's for the house. But I think that's all I got. I, I think I've touched on just about everything I can I, I seen and heard and I wanted to wait a while because some people are still talking about it. Some people have moved on from it. But it was just out of all the videos I saw of people that were my around my age talking about it. We are lacking accountability. Nobody was okay with it be with them being accountable for just not wanting to look away. Oh, and I'm gonna go to the Publix with my bonnet on on purpose. Monique will still be rich at home in her robe. <laughs> Who are you pissing off with that? Oh, well, look at the Bernstein bear lady. She in a bonnet. Look at the look at the name of the character that played her and tell me if that ain't no middle aged white woman. <laughs> it's just and, and I have mastered I see bonnet so much I have literally mastered the art of laughing at a bitch without moving my face exhibit <laughs> it's that easy I will be dying inside looking at your stupid ass. Well, y'all, elaborate in the comments. Do what you feel. But uh, that's all I got. Until next time, I love y'all. And mm, bye.